So my wife got me an amazing freaking birthday gift, but she didn't have to do. Super thankful for it though. She got me a new set of 10 by 50 Diamondback HD Vortex Binos. <laughs> we high rolling now. It's about as high rolling as I'm ever going to get. I know that there's binoculars that are like $1,000, $2,000. That's never going to be me. That's never going to be me. Uh, $250 is the most I would ever even consider paying for a pair of binoculars. Uh, Cause I don't you really use them to hunt with me. If I was gonna go out west, maybe I'd want something a little better. But like, I don't know. These are amazing. These are amazing binos. What I have been using is these Prime 12 by 50 bush nails. Uh, these binoculars have been great. Like they really have been great. They're not super heavy. They're not ridiculously bulky. Like they're big. Like they're they're a little bigger. Okay, here. I don't know. Some amazing filming going on here. Like, as far as height and width goes, like, they're not a whole lot. They're at the bottom together. They're basically the same thing. The bush nails are a little bit bigger around. They're a little bit more girthy. Uh, and they feel a little more plasticky, a little bit more... I don't know why that's up. Like, they're just... They're not bad, like, I'm telling you, like, they're not bad, but it's a hundred dollars versus two hundred fifty dollars. That's that's the big freaking difference. And like, these are super clear. They look amazing. Like you can really tell when you look through the two. Like these seem they're these are twelve power and these are ten power. So there's a, there's a difference there. You know, these definitely pull things in maybe just a little bit closer, but like. You can't flinch, and like, it, like any little bit of movement, and you're you're, it's not going to be as good. I'm hoping with the 10 by 50s, maybe I'll be able to see the rings a little bit clearer. I don't know. I'm going to go test them out on a 3D course if it quits raining. I think it's going to quit raining here, but I might go up today. If not, I'm going out tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'm going over to Martinsburg Sportsman and try them out. But, uh, like, as far as weight goes, I'll go inside and weigh them. But I honestly don't think there's a whole lot of difference in weight. Uh, my uh, range finders of Vortex Crossfire, I want to say. I don't know what the model is. But this is the best range finder I've ever owned, hands down. This thing picks up every black target, and it's consistently every single time. And every time somebody else checks his range, mine is always one less than there. So if mine says 35, yours more than likely says 36. And, you know, that matters whenever it comes to, like, sighting in your bow. You want to make sure that your bow is sighted in for your range finder, obviously. But, uh, yeah, this thing has been amazing. But that's my binos. My wife got me. Thank you very much, sweetheart. I greatly appreciate it. She's been going through a lot lately. She's down now. She's down with sleep issues, and that sucks. But uh, yeah, like these binos, these binos have been amazing. Like I can't say enough good about these guys. Like these Prime have been amazing. Uh, they they really are. I remember seeing these at like a, I want to say like a Royal King or some shit, and I was like, oh, they look like really nice binoculars. And I found them on eBay. I paid ninety dollars for these binos. I, I was was trying to find a pair. I was looking at a pair of ten by what are they? Ten by forty six or something like that. Ten by forty twos or something. And they just weren't strong enough. They just wasn't strong enough to shoot three D. Like they were okay to shoot three D. Don't get me wrong. I have a really nice set of Hawk. I think they're Hawk. Hold on, I grab them. Hang on. Okay, I got to go inside to grab them. So I got to go in. I, we'll go in the house. And then I'll weigh these guys just to give you a little bit of comparison. Hang on. Okay, so the bush now weighs 30.4 ounces. The vortex 10 by 50 weigh 29.7. Just call 29.7. I knew they were a little lighter. And then these are the Hawk. And they are super light, but they are an 8x42, so they're going to be a lighter. They're just not as good. Look at 
at that. Might look like I know what I'm doing now. If I knew how to run on video, I'd probably be in better shape, right? See, that then still don't take it. Oh, Jesus. All right, guys, I wanted to wrap this video up a little bit. I didn't really wrap it up. I mean, I have another video coming right behind this one where I'm shooting with a harness on, getting a little bit of practice in, killing a few flowers. Stay tuned for that video. Uh, appreciate y'all if you'd like and subscribe. I just wanted to wrap this video up. Uh, going forward, I'm going to be using my Vortex Diamondbacks, and I'm going to use my Bushnell Prime as, like, my backup and... I don't know. I may use something like that indoor. I don't know yet for sure, but uh, I have my Hawk 8x42s for sale. If anybody's interested in my Hawk 42s, uh, I have them on eBay, but if you reach out to me, shoot me a message, leave a comment, get to me on Facebook, I'll make you a hell of a deal on them. I really will, I promise you. Uh, like, I don't want to sit on them forever, so if somebody needs them or wants them and is looking to get into archery and is on a budget, I'll hook you up with a really good price, especially somebody from my from my YouTube channel. If somebody on my YouTube channel reaches out to me and wants my Hawk 8x42s, help me out with some shipping and a couple bucks. We'll talk about a price. Shoot me a message and we'll go from there. Peace and love, everybody. I really appreciate you all for watching and subscribing and all that kind of stuff. Share this crap around. Get out and shoot your bows, guys. Love that y'all watching. Of course, I don't love you. If you I don't know you. Why would I love you? I love that you're watching now. I'm not I'm not psychotic. I'm just not. <laughs> See everybody. Peace and love.